Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I've just got an email from Pineapple. And for those of you who don't know, we did an interview uh, with Minus and the team about this new app that they're creating. Sort of like a combination of technology and community and insurance. And what we're going to find out now is they've sent me a free membership code. So we are going to copy this code and we're going to download the app. And, and check it out. So let's open it up and let's see what what this app is. We're sorry. No, you, no, you can't be. You can't be sorry, Mr. Mailchimp. Okay, cool. And we're back. Sorry, I just had to. I don't know what that was happening. Um, not enough ratings. I think it has just come out. Um, let's click download. In the meantime, let's start looking at the pretty pictures. Um, Okay, let's see what it says. Pineapple insurance. Oh, well, there, we need to install it. Um, pineapple insurance as it should be. See how your money is used. Withdraw what is left. Connect to protect. I like that, connect to protect. Um, I also like the story that they gave about why they called it pineapple. The idea is that a pineapple is not a single fruit, but it is a collection of little berries that have joined together in order to have a better form of defense. Anyway, enough about the about pineapples. Let's open up the pineapple app and see what it's about. Um, do I need an account? Oh gosh, there's that invitation code. We need to paste. Oh, I really don't like long thingamajiggies. Um, No, I'm not Batman, I'm Bayman. Bayman1991 at Gmail. People ask, often ask me, what does the Bayman stand for? That is my middle name. So my initials are Michael B. Jordan, which unfortunately there's now that Black Panther actor guy who, oh gosh, is that? Okay, the password is a little bit awkward how it shows it, so we need to edit this part out. What, what actually are the terms and conditions? Does anybody ever read terms and conditions? I should probably read the terms and conditions. Ensure with a snap. Snap a picture to ensure your stuff to add to your list. To ensure later. Okay. See what's in your wallet. The premiums you pay go straight into your pineapple wallet. This wallet is used to help pay the claims of the pineapple community. Create your community. Search for connections and create groups with people you can trust. This protects your wallet from strangers. Have peace of mind. A small fee from your wallet pays for complete protection so that successful claims are always paid out even if wallets run out. I think that is the, the reinsurance model, um, which is interesting. So they are teaming up with, a, with an insurance company. Um, and we give back funds left over at the end of the year are yours to withdraw in cash. So it's very interesting how there is that time um, gap and they'll probably make a little bit of profit on the investment proceeds of that. How many claims have you had in the last two years relating to insurance for home content or portable good? Well, I don't actually have um, home insurance or content stuff just because it's so expensive in South Africa because everyone just steals everything here. Pineapple would like to send you notifications, okay. Welcome to your home screen. We will take you through a quick tutorial. Okay, tap here to return to the home screen. Got it. Tap here to see and grow your community. Got it. Tap here to add your things. Choose to insure it or just add it to my stuff. Got it. Tap here to submit a claim. Got it. Tap here to review to view your profile and settings. Done. All the premiums you pay are deposited into your wallet. Tap on this card to view more details. All funds left over are yours to withdraw in cash. Got it. Please add a profile picture from your profile tab to let others know who you are. Got it. If you have any questions, please give us a shout here. Got it. This is where you will see notifications. Got it. Items you snap a picture of will be added to my stuff. We already have added your phone. Scroll down to view all. P.S. You can add items without insuring them to track what you own. Why Why would I do that though? Like would I just take a picture? Okay, so we need, we need to, I think, insure something. 
um, and it wants to access the camera. So, what should we what should we ensure? Should we ensure the iPad? Nope. Let's ensure the fluffy corgi. Uh, take a picture of an item to ensure it. Okay, done. Whatever. There. Happy with this picture? We're gonna click done. And then we say next. Give me a sec while I figure this out. We do not offer pet insurance at the moment. We will let you know when we start. No, they, they're not going to let me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we do have another product to insure. Um, if they're not going to let the fluffy corgi, let's see if they can pick up what this thing is. Okay. Let me know in the comment section if you know what that is. I'll be very impressed if you guys do. Um, we were unable to detect what your item is. Pick a category. Enter this item's name and estimated value to see what it would cost to ensure. Got it. Tap on the blue arrows below to see an overview of what you are covered for. Note different items have different cover. Got it. Tap don't ensure to just add this to my stuff. You can ensure it later if you should wish. Got it. Tap add to basket. Well, um, there's too many of those things. Um, okay, category. What is it? It is a personal item. Um, other personal item. The asset's name. Um, let's call him Creeper. Estimated value. A thousand bucks because it's, it's, it's got that sentimental value to me. And I want to insure it. How much is the premium to insure the Minecraft Creeper? Four rand and sixty-two cents. That's that's not bad. Let's see if they. Yeah, let's see if that makes it four hundred. Ooh, the maximum value for this category is twenty-five thousand rand. Okay, so let's let's one if it's just ten rand. The minimum value for an item in this category is 200 rand. Okay, let's make it 201 rand. Let's click there. All right. It's calculating the premium. 93 cents. Okay, so let's add that to my basket. Um, okay, and now what else can I, can I ensure? Um, I mean, one thing I think every actuary definitely needs to ensure is the HP 12C calculator. So let's, they do use some image recognition. So let's see if they can pick this up. Yeah, I'd be very impressed. They will be true actuaries if they've got recognition for an HP 12 screen. Desktop, PC, multimedia, digital screen, etc. Mm, no, it's a calculator. It's got category name, portable electronics. They don't have calculator. These guys are actuaries and they haven't thought to put in calculator. Let's go other portable, asset name, my HP 12C. Done. Done. Estimated value. How much are these things going for now? I think it's like 1,500, eh? Um, insure, it's calculating the premium. I must say, this, this is quite a cool toy to just like figure out what things are, what the price is to insure various things. So this, they want 22 Rand. Okay. I must say, we can actually start having, having fun with this because let's say we, let's say we add an item. Okay. Um... Now I need to like think of something to, to add. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's ensure the world. Okay. So this is this is what I want to see. I want to see we ensured that for 1,500. Um, let's see if this is say something like a home item, furniture, done, asset name, my world, estimated value. Let's go one five hundred. Now I'm expecting the premium to be lower because it's a household good. It's not portable. It's not taken out. Uh, therefore, it's got less risk. So let's see if that's picked up in their model. 
There we go, look at that. If we click Add to Basket, we see that it's also 1,500, but where the calculator was 22 Rand, here the premium is only 3 Rand and 47. Um, how do I go to my basket? See, so 1,000, whoops, look there. So the calculator, so we put it at the same value. The premium is 22 Rand and 19 cents, and the premium here is 3 Rand and 47 cents which means the category that you're choosing on this app becomes quite critical as that determines what it is. Um, now, I wonder if, if you can now ensure something in the wrong category, whether that will nullify your claim. Um, if we had to click checkout, what do they ask us to, to pay? How, how does the payment actually work? Um, if I click accept quote, you are about to accept the quote and purchase a new policy, amend your current policy. We're going to take you to the payment option screen first where you can select the payment method before payment is processed. Okay, let's see. Please tell us who you are. We only need to ask this the first time. Next time you ensure something will be a lot easier. Ooh, they require your ID number and your cell phone, which I don't want to put that on the internet. Let's see if we just try to get around that. Like Maybe they say no. Click next. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Okay, so we're not going to go all the way through with the app. Um, or should we just like edit it out? Should we edit it out? Okay, we're going to edit this part out. Okay, it's giving me an address error now. It doesn't look like we're able to proceed. Yeah, we've got an address error and there's no way else I can change the address. Which means it's, it's a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so we can't actually finish it. Um, but let's just check out the rest of this app before wrapping this video up. Okay, so we are leaving that screen. Uh, unfortunately, we could not go through the whole process. Um, oh, and they've got the back button. No, they've got the back button right where the, the screen record button is. So that's a little bit awkward. Um... Oh, we are now having technical difficulties. Okay, those are the three things that we are insuring. So we're insuring our world, we're insuring our HP 12C, and we're insuring the Creeper from Minecraft. I think those are three things that every actuary um, has. Um, and then, oh, look, it knows that I've got an, oh, of course it knows I've got an iPhone. This is the, <laughs> the Apple app. Um, but let's check if there's any way, welcome to the community, Build your community and track the activities here. Gotcha. Okay, I really, there's, there's too much writing to read. Okay, your wallet helps pay for 100% other pineapples claims, your connections claims. Want a bigger wallet payout. Connect to those you trust to protect your wallet from strangers. No activity yet. Okay, so I think everyone's already connected, but when you connect with other people in your own network, they get priority, I think, I think. Uh, connections, you can invite people. Um, how do I invite a person? Oh, is this like a... No, what are we doing there? Um, what was this one again? Welcome to claims, where you can submit a claim and track its process. Claiming is for when the poo hits the hurricane. Nine out of ten people in your suburb will not claim this year. Uh, <laughs> I will be honest and truthful in the claim process. Date of loss. What happens if I choose a future date? There were no items. Oh, we can't pay for those claims. So we can't check out this part of the app. Oh no, this, this is turning into such a failure of an app review. I'm really messing this up. Um, hold it, whatever. Yeah. Um, invite a friend. No, why does it do that? I think I have to copy. It gives me a copy code. Terms and conditions. This is what we should have read at the beginning. Well, as you can see, those look at those terms. Okay, hold on. They are populating. Wow, no way, no, do we have to read all of that? <gasps> no, no, why don't they have like a summary? Oh, 
These terms, oh, they must be read together with the disclaimer. That is a lot to read. What, why is it gone all blank now? Ooh. I don't know. Okay, I don't want to read that. I really, I should. I should. I'll probably read it a little bit later. But we're not going to read it on the video. Um, okay, I think, look, the app, it's brand new. It's brand new. We need to be patient with it. We need to give them time to, to sort out the little bugs and the fact that we aren't actually able to submit a claim. Um, I did think the cutest part, of course, was that it thought that this little guy was a real dog. I thought that was actually really cute. Let's see if we get it from this angle. We do not, I, that's, for me, this app is a five star app just for, for that. Although I'm gonna have to try to figure out another way to ensure the fluffy corgi. Um, anyway, guys, give this app a, or check this app out. If you, I think you need to have the code. I think it's not open to everyone unless you have the code. So this is very much early access. Um, I'm expecting, yeah, they'll probably change up the UX, make it a little bit more easier to use. But as, as a first impression, this looks great. This looks very promising. And if you guys are working on any apps of your own, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'd love to do a review of them or chat to you about them. Uh, I really think this is the future. So well done to the team at Pineapple. I'm looking forward to, to where this company goes next. But as always, thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers.